Welcome to Foray and thank you for choosing us. Today, we'll show you how to pass audio with your HVS100 or HVS110. In order for your switcher to pass audio, first, we will need to ensure that the frame sync is set to off on the input you wish to pass audio from. To do this, please press setup slash attach button. Then turn your F1 dial knob to select input and press down on your F1 dial knob to enter the input menu. Now turn your F1 dial knob to select signal and press down on your F1 dial knob to enter the signal menu. In this menu, we'll turn your F1 dial knob to scroll through the input that you wish to pass audio to and ensure that the FS or frame sync is set to off. If your frame sync is turned on, please turn your F4 dial knob to change it to off. Please ensure that resize is set to off by turning your F3 dial knob. This applies to when your input signal is standard definition. Next, we're going to enable the audio for your switcher. Please press the setup slash attach button. Then, turn your F1 dial knob to select output and press down on your F1 dial knob to enter this menu. In this output menu, please turn your F1 dial knob to select ancillary and press down on your F1 dial knob to enter this menu. In this ancillary menu, please turn your F1 dial knob to set ME program to each. Please turn your F2 dial knob to set swap to 50. 50 means that audio will pass through from the halfway point of the background transition. Now, please turn your F3 dial knob to set preview SW to each. In this tutorial, we set our program to send its audio to AUX1. By setting your ME program to each means that our program audio will be sent to all of the AUXs. Since we set ours to AUX1, our program audio will only pass through AUX1. Please press the page down button to go to page two of two. On page two of two, please turn your F1 dial knob to select the aux you wish to pass audio through. Then turn your F2 dial knob to turn enable to on to allow audio to pass through your switcher. In this tutorial, we set select to aux1, so our program audio will be sent to our aux1. Now, we're going to set up audio output for our HDMI. To do this, please press the setup slash attach button. Then turn your F1 dial knob to select output and press down on your F1 dial knob. Then turn your F1 dial knob to select out XPT, which stands for output cross point, and press down on your F1 dial knob. In this output cross point menu, please press page down twice to go to page three of three. In this output HDMI menu, please turn your F1 dial knob to set HDMI out to PGM or whichever source you wish to be sending your audio out. Please turn your F3 dial knob to set audio to channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7, 8, whichever channel you wish to use the audio from. In our example, we're setting our HDMI to program out and we're using the audio from channels one and two. The following section is how to send audio out to your optional expansion card. If you do not have any optional expansion card, then please skip this section. Please go to our comments section for the exact time code on our next and last section of this tutorial, which is on how to display audio levels in your multi-viewer. Please press the setup slash attach button. Then, please turn your F1 dial knob to select output and press down on your F1 dial knob to enter the output menu. In this output menu, please turn your F1 dial knob 
to select option and press down on your F1 dial knob to enter the option menu. In this menu, depending on which optional card you have, HVS100DO, HVS100AO, or HVS100PCO, the only difference in menu selection you will see is in the format section. So turn your F1 dial knob to set select B channel 1. Then please turn your F2 dial knob to set output to aux 2 or whichever aux you prefer. Then please turn your F3 dial knob to set format to SD SDI. If you have our HVS100DO optional board, composite if you have our HVS100AO board and SXGA if you have our HVS100PCO board. Now please press the page down button four times to get to page five. In this menu, please turn your F1 dial knob to set select to B channel 1. Please turn your F2 dial knob to set audio to channel 1, 2. In our last section of this tutorial, we're going to show you how to display audio level meters in your multi-viewer. We also have a tutorial on accessing your multi-viewer through your web GUI. Please press the setup slash attach button. Then, please turn your F1 dial knob to select output and press down on your F1 dial knob to enter the output menu. Please turn your F1 dial knob to select MV and press down on your F1 dial knob to enter the multi-viewer menu. Please press the page down button two times to go to page three. In this menu, please turn your F1 dial knob to select each window in your multi-viewer that you wish to display audio level meters. In our tutorial, we're setting screen to one. Then, please turn your F2 dial knob to set audio to channel one through four. Now, please use your F1 dial knob to turn to the next window and turn your F2 dial knob to set its audio channels. Please press the page down button five times to go to page eight. In this menu, please turn your F1 dial knob to set enable to on. Please turn your F2 dial knob to set ancillary select to screen one. If you wish to enable audio levels to your other screens, then please turn your F2 dial knob to designate which screens. Now, your switcher is configured to pass audio out of its auxiliary output and HDMI output. Well, this concludes our tutorial. If you have any questions or would like to request a video tutorial, please email us at support at 4-a.com. Thank you for watching our tutorial and have a safe and pleasant production.